Well, hello and welcome to the final exam review series for Intermediate Algebra. This is Joe Brownlee with Palm Beach State College and we are on question number 12. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, question number 12, directions say to factor the trinomial completely. All right, number 12. And the trinomial they give us to factor is 10 a squared plus 9ab minus 9b squared. All right, so we'll go ahead and put our practice to test by the side and go ahead and factor this trinomial. All right, well, you may recall that when we are factoring a trinomial, we are going to use the scissors method and in order to do that we are looking for factors of 10 and factors of 9 that subtract to give me a positive 9 in this case so let's go ahead and set up a chart and we'll start coming up with some of these factors to see what we're going to use in the scissors well the factors of 10 are 1 and 10 2 and 5 and the factors of 9 are 1 and 9 and 3 and 3 and a little tip for you when you are uh, listing your factors and you're going to start to test them in, in the actual scissors uh, method start with the factors that are closest together meaning 2 and 5 are only 3 units apart whereas 1 and 10 are 9 units apart so start with the factors that are closest together. In this case, 2 and 5 are closer together than 1 and 10. And again, 3 and 3 are closer together than 1 and 9. All right, so we're going to split up our factors and see what we get. So 2 and 5, 2 and 5, 3 and 3, 3 and 3. And this is our scissors. Well, what is 2 times 3? Well, 2 times 3 gives me 6. And 5 times 3 gives me 15. So now I have to ask myself, is there a way, using subtraction, because the second sign tells me subtraction, that I can somehow subtract 15 and 6 in some combination to give me a positive 9? And the answer is yes, of course. So what do the signs of 15 and 6 have to be in order to get a positive 9 when we use subtraction? Well, the 15 has to be positive, and my 6 has to be negative, and positive 15 minus 6 gives me a positive 9. And whatever sign we assign to the uh, actual multiplication, the product here on the outside, that sign just moves over to the left. So in this case, the plus just moves right over. And the subtraction sign just moves right over. And let's go ahead and put parentheses around these. And then that becomes our factors. Now, of course, we've got to add in our variables. So the 2 plus 3, well, this becomes 2a plus 3b. We'll close. And then my 5 minus 3 becomes 5a minus 3b. Now the reason that we have, some, sometimes we're not always using uh, variables uh, in the last part of our factors, but the reason we are here is because if we look in our original trinomial, there is a variable in the last term. And so when there's a variable in the last term, we know that the last term in each of my factors is also going to have whatever variable was in the original. Now, so these are our factors, and when it comes time for the test, we can actually go back and check ourselves to make sure that this is, in fact, correct. And the, way, uh, and the way that we do that is we actually can FOIL these back out. And when we FOIL this back out, we should get back 
to our original trinomial. So uh, for the sake of practice, let's go ahead and do that just to make sure that uh, we uh, have determined the proper factors. So again, foiling, and you can go back a couple videos to find out what that process is. Our first outer inner last. All right, so what is 2a times 5a? Well, that's simply 10a squared. 2a times negative 3b is negative 6ab. Positive 3b times positive 5a gives me a plus 15ab. And then lastly, 3b minus 3b. When we multiply those together, we get a negative 9b squared. And now I see that I have uh, like terms. So let's go ahead and simplify and combine these. And when we do, we get 10a squared plus 9ab. Negative 6 plus 15 is positive 9. And then lastly, minus 9b squared. And this is exactly the same as the original trinomial we started with. And since it foiled out to be that, we know that our factors are correct. And so that's a, a quick way that you can check yourself on a, on a test, to, just to make sure that your, your factors are correct. All right, well, this was question number 12. We're going to move on to lucky number 13 next. Again, this is Joe Brownlee with Palm Beach State. Thanks for watching.